You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaban. Good evening. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa on the 51st anniversary of the BDF's establishment. His Royal Highness praised the role of His Majesty the King in enhancing the BDF since its establishment, which contributed to making numerous achievements as well as protecting the country and the people. He praised the efforts of His Majesty in enhancing the status of the kingdom on the international level. His Majesty, His Royal Highness, wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness, and for the country further progress and prosperity. In response, His Majesty sent His Royal Highness the Prime Minister a cable in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness and affirmed that the BDF will always remain the shield protecting the kingdom and its people. He appreciated the role of His Royal Highness in contributing to the achievements of the BDF, wishing them further success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 51st anniversary of the BDF's establishment. He praised the role of His Majesty the King in enhancing the BDF since its establishment, which contributed to making numerous achievements as well as protecting the country and its people. His Royal Highness noted that this anniversary is one of many consecutive achievements under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad and his visions. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and for the country further development and prosperity. In response, His Majesty sent His Royal Highness the Crown Prince a cable in which he expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness and affirmed that the BDF will always remain the shield protecting the kingdom and its people. He appreciated the role of His Royal Highness in contributing to the achievements of the BDF, wishing them all further success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Commander in Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, the BDF Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, on the 51st anniversary of the BDF's establishment. He praised the wise directions and support of His Majesty, the King of Bahrain. The, he noted that the achievements and the good reputation of the Bahrain Defense Force as a result of His Majesty the King's support. He wished His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness and for the country further development and prosperity. In response, His Majesty sent the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF a cable in which he expressed thanks as well as pride in the efforts of the BDF and its members. He appreciated the role and efforts of the Commander-in-Chief of the BDF in contributing to the achievements of the BDF, wishing them all health and further success. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa promoted 776 officers at the BDF across various ranks. These promotions coincide with the Kingdom's commemoration of the 51st anniversary of the establishment of the BDF. BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa conveyed His Majesty's congratulations to the promoted officers, as well as those of His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and conveyed their wishes for further success and progress as the promoted officers continue to serve the Kingdom under His Majesty's leadership. To mark the occasion, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa also ordered the promotion of 3,605 non-commissioned officers along with other individuals and civilians who occupy various positions at the BDF. He congratulated the promoted individuals and expressed his hope that the promotion will encourage them to work harder as they perform their duties of protecting the country and bringing further development and prosperity to it under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness uh, Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the 51st anniversary of the BDF's establishment. His Royal Highness uh, Crown Prince praised the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister which contributed in maintaining the security and stability of the kingdom and hailed his efforts in maintaining the security and stability in the region alongside brotherly countries. He wished the country for the progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and wished His Royal Highness the Prime Minister abundant health and happiness. In response, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister sent a cable to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince expressing thanks and appreciation to him and praised his efforts in enhancing the role of the BDF. He wished His Royal Highness the Crown Prince abundant health and happiness and for the Kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the 51st anniversary of the BDF's establishment. He praised the support of His Royal Highness to the BDF, which contributed in enhancing the level and performance of the BDF in assuming their national responsibilities. He wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness and for the Kingdom further progress and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. In response, His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, sent a cable to the BDF Commander in Chief and affirmed his keenness to continue the support to the BDF, he wished the BDF further success in performing their national duties. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Glebia Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Royal Highnesses reviewed the positive results of the budget initiatives which aim to decrease spending and increase revenues in order to balance the budget. They have affirmed that the government is keen in maintaining positive economic growth and carrying on with a development plan in a fiscally challenging environment. The Royal Highnesses reviewed ongoing projects to develop the oil and gas sectors and affirmed that the the government will continue to make the best use of the available resources and to proceed in discovering new sources of oil and gas in light of the importance of the oil and gas sector to the economy of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Glebia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Secretary General Dr. Yasser Al Nasser gave the following statement. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed sincere congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and officers and members of the BDF on the occasion of the Bahrain Defense Force Day. He praised the role of His Majesty the King in establishing the BDF, which became a strong fortress of protection. His Royal has directed the ministers and government agencies to implement the approved government action plan items to achieve sustainable development for Bahrain and its people and ensure economic and social stability which takes into consideration the financial balance and its requirements. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to the representative council for approving the government action plan which represents the parliamentary support for the government which falls within the framework of partnership and cooperation between the executive and legislative authorities. On the occasion of the National Day for the Environment, His Royal Highness directed all ministers to take into consideration the environmental issues and integrating them into all current and future government plans and programs. He also directed to protect the land and seas from the dangers of plastic materials by following up on the implementation of relevant decisions, including the technical regulations for plastic products. His Royal Highness praised the efforts of the personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He also expressed keenness on minimizing the obstacles facing Bahraini merchants and taking their interests into account. He directed concern authorities to study topics that were raised during his visit to the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry last week.
The cabinet reviewed the primary financial results estimates from the ministries and government agencies for the fiscal year 2018 in light of completing the fiscal year's general budget accounts first closing, which resulted in the decrease of the general budget deficit by 35 percent compared to fiscal year 2017. Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministry Committee for Financial Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, highlighted the primary estimations of the fiscal year 2018, which revealed that the total deficit for the fiscal year 2018 amounted to 874 million Bahraini dinar which reflects a decrease of $462 million for the fiscal deficit in 2017. The achievement is a result of the general budget restructuring, which started in 2015 and resulted in the control of recurrent expenses and the diversification of non-oil revenues throughout the years, as well as the immediate start of the fiscal balance program, which was launched early 2018. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed the increase of Bahraini employment and enabling their competencies in jobs that are suitable for their qualifications. The Council reviewed the results of the employment exhibitions organized in 2018 and reviewed the the plan of the Ministry of Labor and Social Development on employment exhibitions for 2019 through the memorandum issued by the minister. The number of employment exhibitions held in 2018 amounted to a total of seven, through which 2,652 employees were employed in the private sector and more than 500 programs and training courses for researchers were displayed in coordination with Temkin. The ministry also intends to implement 10 employee fairs during the year 2019. The cabinet approved Bahrain's partnership in the International Solar Alliance. Among more than 120 countries which aim to accelerate the expansion of solar energy projects, upon the recommendation of the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs, chaired by Deputy Prime Minister Jawad bin Salim Al-Rayyad, the cabinet discussed the renewal of the agreement on the Regional Center for Information and Communication Technology and was forwarded to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The cabinet discussed the facilitation of trade and the establishment of commercial companies for minors of age 18 in all commercial activities with the exception of those requiring the approval of the State Council on Minor Funds and then referred it to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. The Cabinet discussed assigning the task of domain names, registration and fees collection to government entities according to the requirements of the Electronic Transaction Law issued by Decree Law 54 of 2018. The Council decided to refer a draft decree to the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa to mark the 51st anniversary since the establishment of the BDF. The BDF Commander in Chief affirmed keenness to continue efforts to maintain the security and sovereignty of the country following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness and for the kingdom further progress and prosperity. In response, His Royal Highness sent a cable to the BDF Commander in Chief and praised the BDF's efforts and readiness to maintain the security and sovereignty of the kingdom and contributing to maintaining the security in the region. His Royal Highness wished the BDF further success and for the kingdom further progress and prosperity. The Court of the Crown Prince announced today that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa will be at the forefront to receive the Crown Prince of Jordan. His Royal Highness Prince Al Hussein bin Abdullah II who will arrive tomorrow for an official visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Court welcomes the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince of Jordan and his accompanying delegation wishing them a pleasant stay in Bahrain. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamid Al Khalifa, expressed pride in the efforts towards protecting the environment and realizing sustainable development in the Kingdom of Bahrain, which are being carried out as per the royal directives of His Majesty the King and mentioned in the National Action Charter, as well as Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030. The efforts also enjoy the support of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa. In his speech on the National Environment Day, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad affirmed the Kingdom's commitment in addressing environmental challenges, which will serve to reinforce the Kingdom's stature regionally and globally. His Highness added that the Supreme Council for the Environment chose the theme of protecting the environment against plastic waste in order to address and limit its dangers on the environment. He said that the Supreme Council has involved government agencies as well as private and civil sector organizations in its campaign against the use of single-use non-recyclable plastic and has urged its partners to take the necessary steps to reduce 
reduce their use of plastic. He said that Bahrain has begun taking steps towards decreasing the pollution of the oceans with plastic waste by making the necessary legislation in that regard. His Highness added that Bahrain will make legislation on the use of plastic in its domestic markets in the near future in cooperation with the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. He stressed that the achievements in this regard are the results of the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, through the Coordination Committee and through the decisions taken by the Ministerial Committee for Construction and Infrastructure. His Highness said that he looks forward to more achievements in this field in 2019, especially in terms of decreasing industrial waste and carrying out environmental oversight on industrial and service industry organizations, as well as through monitoring the quality of the environment across the kingdom. Minister of Foreign Affairs Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed Al Khalifa participated in the 5th Arab European Ministerial Meeting today in Brussels, Belgium. Foreign ministers from the Arab League and the European Union attended the meeting. Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed stressed the importance of cooperation between the countries of the Arab League and the European Union on all aspects in order to address mutual challenges and to achieve a better environment for the development and prosperity of their people. The minister discussed a number of issues, at the forefront of which was the Palestinian issue, alongside the crisis in Syria and the situation in Yemen and Libya, and issues particularly to migration. The ministers discuss cooperation efforts between them in order to ensure international stability and safety. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, met with the foreign ministers of the Kingdom of Spain, Mr. Joseph Borrell, on the sidelines of his participation in the EU League of Arab States Ministerial Meeting in Brussels in Belgium. The Minister of Foreign Affairs hailed the distinguished relations of friendship between the Kingdom of Bahrain and Spain, expressing the Kingdom of Bahrain's aspirations to further enhance these relations at all levels, in addition to strengthening joint cooperation and coordination towards regional and international issues. For his part, Borrell noted the development of the bilateral relations between the the Kingdom of Bahrain and Spain at the economic and political levels, affirming the keenness of Spain to bolster these relations for the common interests of the two countries. They also exchanged views on the most important issues on the agenda of the EU League of Arab States ministerial meeting. The Ministry of Housing, in cooperation with Iskand Bank, organized a joint meeting with the financial institutions that participate in the Mazaya Social Housing Scheme. The effort comes as a part of the Ministry of Housing's preparation to launch a new iteration of the program. Minister of Housing Basim bin Yaqub al Hamar said that the coordination meeting will follow the meeting with the real estate developers, which was chaired by Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Ministerial Committee for Construction and Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah al Khalifa. The minister said that these meetings are part of a bigger comprehensive plan that has been prepared since the launch of the new iteration of the program last April, which are meant to ensure the safety of all the procedures and technical matters. The plan included legal aspects as well as a media campaign to raise awareness among citizens of the benefits of the program. For his part, Assistant Director of Financial Institutions and Government Programs, Sheikh Hamad bin Sabah Al Khalifa, said that the coordinating meeting with the banks was positive as ideas on financing and government funding were discussed. Sheikh Hamad bin Sabah added that a team has been prepared to note all questions and comments that have been put forth during the meeting in order to address them before the launch. Under the patronage of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of Her Royal Highness, wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women and President of the Consultative Council of the National Initiative in Developing the Agricultural Sector, Princess Sabika bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, the International Garden Show will kick off on the 20th of February at the Bahrain International Center for Conferences and Exhibitions. During a press conference, the Secretary General of the National Initiative, Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa, highlighted that the event will shed light on agricultural technologies that contribute to achieving development and sustainability in the sector in addition to solutions provided by local and international companies participating in the event. She added that it is expected that more than 170 exhibitors will participate this year showcasing their pavilions and latest technologies. The National Bureau for Revenue, the NBR, held a total of 22 workshops on the treatment of VAT across various sectors within the kingdom. The workshops, which have begun since December of 2018, address all the various sectors' VAT inquiries to ensure effective implementation of the VAT. The workshops targeted government and private sector entities, including entities in the banking and finance, real estate and construction, sale and retail, auditing and education sectors. The NBR affirmed its commitment to increase public and private stakeholder awareness and transparency regarding the treatment of the VAT across all sectors in addition to advancing public-private cooperation.